Hi everyone, I'm back with another makeup review because IT Cosmetics has so many CC Plus creams out right now, it can be really confusing to know which one's right for you. So I thought I would do an IT Cosmetics CC Plus review, not just kind of on the colors, the quality, how long they wear, but how to decide on which one is actually the best one for your skin type and the climate you live in. They all come in over 20 shades, so finding the right shade for you is probably the easiest part to get a really good match. So over the last couple of months, I've tried the natural finish, the matte finish and their nude glow finish all very different finishes so on this i'm going to share my thoughts on each kind of how they apply the best way to apply them because some apply better with a beauty blender some apply better with the it cosmetics number no. seven brush some apply kind of like equally also some tips for applying them, the coverage you're going to get out of them how well they wear and who i think each one is best for and i'll link them all in the description below as well as that number seven brush because that's the one they recommend applying all of these with so I'm going to start with the IT Cosmetics Natural Finish CC Plus Cream because it's my favorite of all of them I tried. For me personally, it's that color correcting full coverage cream. I love a full coverage foundation, so that's one thing I really, really liked about this. In saying that, it's not really buildable coverage. It's going to be straight away quite thick, so really, really good if you want a full face. If you want lighter coverage, you're going to be better with something like the Nude Glow, which is the only buildable coverage, medium coverage foundation the matte is also full coverage. It also has an anti-aging hydrating serum in. I'll get to that later. But if you have more mature skin like I do, I really like that about this. And then obviously the broad spectrum SPF. Now all of them have the SPF in. This one is the only one with SPF 50. The others are all SPF 40. So I really like that extra 10 SPF. So uh, let's pop it on and talk about the application and kind of the benefits of it. And this is the newest one IT Cosmetics sent me. It's their Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus Broad Spectrum SPF 50 UVA UVB. I've got it in two shades again to try. I've got Natural Medium and Medium Tan. I self-tan last night because I realized I was too fair with them. <laughs> Without that, let me give them a bit of a shake first. I'm gonna see which one we're gonna to want to try color-wise on my hands. Looking at them, I'm feeling like the natural medium is slightly darker, so I feel like it might be the medium tan. Excuse my nails. I'm trying to give them a break after doing press-ons for nearly a year, and it just kind of created grooves in there. So I'm just trying to let that grow out. So this is the natural medium, which isn't, Actually, it looks pretty good. And then this is the medium tan, which is slightly lighter and still in those warm tones. I think I might have to swatch that on my face to see which is actually better, but I'm feeling actually the darker one might be better. That might be too yellow for me. So now I've swatched them both on my cheek. This is the medium tan on the top and then the natural medium on the bottom. And I'm thinking that this one, honestly, I think they both work, but I think this one is just going to look a little bit more natural when blended in. So it doesn't matter that I'm wiping it off because this is supposed to be a serum and everything in one. So I put on eye cream, so I wanted a little bit of more hydration under my eyes, a little bit more help in that area, but I'm just gonna use this as a one and done since it is supposed to be your serum and your SPF in one. Again, if you wanted more hydration, you could always use your moisturizer as well. So now we've decided on the color, which was the natural medium in the CC color correcting cream. There's kind of two ways you can do it. Obviously you could just use your hands, but you can use the IT Cosmetics foundation and kind of concealer brush or your beauty blender. I'm gonna show you both sides, one with a brush and one with a blender, and then you can kind of decide for yourself which you prefer. I think just me personally, I'm so used to using the blender versus a brush, that just seems to me the best application for me. So I just kind of want to really build the coverage up because I can already see that that's going on quite thick. I probably need way less than I think. Actually, you don't need as much as you think you might need. I tend to do a lot more coverage on my nose because that's where I have the most discoloration, the least on my forehead so that it doesn't sink in my creases so much. And then I'll go in with a concealer afterwards. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more as we do this side of the face with the Beauty Blender. And while I'm doing the application, I'm gonna talk about some of the benefits. Now I do always go over my lips, that's personal preference. I've just found that's how I get the truest lipstick color. That way you don't have your own lip color changing the color of the lipstick. You get a more true lipstick shade. 
I do have a couple of breakouts going on right now. So I'm liking this is full of coverage. I'm gonna come down my neck a little bit. And then on the other side, I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics and just try and buff that out. I find this applies really, really easily. It goes on quite creamy, but it's not really buildable. It is quite that thick coverage from the get-go. I found it worked both with a beauty blender and their number seven brush equally well. It didn't streak with the brush, which I've had issues with before, especially when you're using the circular movements with it. So when I mentioned that anti-aging serum before with this, and that is hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, vitamin E, and your SPF 50. So that niacinamide is also going to be really good for brightening your skin. So it is really a good multitasking makeup and skincare product in one. So I'm gonna show you a few different light colors on here just so you can get a real idea of the actual color of this in different lightings. It feel like it is very full coverage without having to use a lot. It went straight on quite thick. Obviously I have some discoloration around my eyes. I'm going to personally go back in with concealer when I do my full face, but obviously you could use more of this as well if you're trying to pack less with you. So this is going to be the natural daylight kind of light on it. This is going to be a warm light. And then this is going to be a cool light, which is what I tend to normally shoot in. I was just trying to use the natural to look more I don't know, natural, but I actually think this is more accurate. I don't look so yellow and orange now. I want to see how it plays under my other makeup, make sure it's not going to start to peel or do anything weird when I powder it. And then I also want to check back in at the end of the day with you and see how it's worn throughout the day. If it's got too matte, if it started to crack, if it's got too oily, and just give it the good old wear test. But blendability wise, it blended really, really easily. Okay, so the It's CC Cream is holding up really well. You can see in some areas I've started to get shiny, which I normally always do through the T-zone anyway. There's a slight kind of settling into the under eyes, but I feel like that always happens to me. It's just part of aging. But I feel like it's lasted really, really well as well. And the blush I used was the It Cosmetics Sun Blush. I've done a whole review on that as well, which is what I also used as the lip tint which actually ended up being a lip stain. It's lasted really, really well. So these two IT Cosmetics play really well together, both their CC cream and the sun blush. There was no pilling, it's lasted well, but I definitely feel like this has been the best CC cream for me out of all three of theirs. Their glow, their matte, and then this, which I guess I would count as their regular one. This has been the best for my skin. So I don't think there's a best or worst CC cream. It's going to be a case of playing around with them and seeing what works best for you. And it doesn't matter whether you do your serum and moisturizer before doing this foundation, or use this literally as a one-step product. So if I was at home and spending time on my makeup and skincare in the morning, I would do my serum, I would do my moisturizer, I would do my SPF, even though it has an SPF, uh, an ice cream, and then apply this. If I'm traveling, I would literally just pack this because I think this is just such a great miracle product that does everything, maybe not as well as each product does individually, but for packing, I think it's the way to go and just save so much time. Or if you're in a rush in the morning, it's better than nothing. So the reason I like this one for me personally is for my climate and skin type. I live in Vegas, which is very, very dry and hot. So I feel like if I use something like the matte, which I have a time and place for, I'll get to that when I use that and what I love it for. If I use that here, it would be too drying. This works really well for me here because it still gives you some kind of a glow and natural finish, but it doesn't get oily and greasy like the nude glow did for me. And I'll get to that as well. So this was the best for me in my everyday environment with the full coverage without kind of starting to crease or settle in the fine lines. In saying that though, you do want to buff it out of your fine lines before setting with the powder, otherwise it's just gonna make them look a whole lot worse. So with that full coverage, it is really good for evening out skin tone. If you don't want to use concealer, I don't think you necessarily would need to. You can get in there and just keep building the coverage around kind of the areas that may be darker or have a little more discoloration. I also thought it was really good, and I wasn't expecting it from this one, if it was for minimizing the appearance of pores. It definitely kind of like covered those. I don't know if it just sunk into all of them and made them disappear, but they do look a lot better with this. It also doesn't have any flashback on camera. A lot of products that have that SPF that give a white cast or HD performing products tend to create a white flashback, especially when the flash is on. This doesn't do this. It shoots really well on camera and video. So who is this one best for? It is kind of supposed to be good for all skin types, but like I said, I thought it worked really well for combination skin in a dry climate. I also think it's really good for mature skin since it does have that anti-aging serum. 
Who it's not for, probably if you want light coverage or medium coverage foundation, this is gonna be too full coverage for you. Also, maybe if you have a very oily skin, it might be too hydrating, or if you have dry skin, I don't know if it'll be hydrating enough. But for those of us with combination skins, I think this is really, really lovely. So on to the next one. And I've reviewed this before when I did my kind of summer beauty travel haul, what I travel with in the summer to hot and humid places. And this is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Natural Matte Foundation with SPF 40. So SPF 10 less than the one I just showed you, but still SPF 40, that's still a great coverage. I took this with me on holiday in the vacation for me. It was absolutely perfect in the hot, humid climate. I've reviewed it before, I kind of demoed it in that video when I showed you kind of what I packed in my summer makeup kit when I'm traveling. That I have two shades, one is a medium cool and one is, I've worn this one out, medium a tan. I'll swatch both of you. I haven't put anything on my skin. The reason being, because I wanted to show you just how matte and full coverage this is. I figured if I put a moisturizer on, it might kind of skew the results. And half of the reason of using a CC cream is because it's kind of that one and done, your serum, moisturizer, everything all at once. So the medium tan, it is a very, very full coverage foundation. I am self-turned at the moment. I'm not gonna blend it, I'm just gonna kind of swatch it right now. And then this was the medium cool. And I'm liking the medium, mm, it's kind of hard, right? I kind of, I feel like I've got so many tones going on right now, but I'm worried this one is going to make me look a little bit yellowy and make my skin look warmer. I'm gonna go with the medium corn on this one. And I'm gonna do half of my face with a beauty blender and half with the It Cosmetics number no. seven brush because that's the best way they say to apply it. I'm just gonna share with you both because if you have a beauty blender, it saves buying the brush. So this is It Cosmetics number no. seven brush. It has two ends, one for your foundation, one for your concealer, but I use this for their CC cream to get it kind of around the eyes in the nooks and crannies. It is a vegan bristle cruelty-free brush as well. I find this, it's not what I would call a, a buildable foundation. It's full coverage, as they say. I tend to just dot it around my skin. I kind of go more heavy on the nose, less heavy on the forehead so it doesn't sink in all of the wrinkles and just make them look worse and just kind of give it a good coverage like that. I'm gonna use a little bit more and you will feel kind of, this is quite a thick, but not drying. You know, some matte formulations can feel really drying. This didn't feel drying on my skin. I do recommend using both a powder and an SPF setting spray with it. I like using the Slim Too Jaw, that's SPF 30 with it. So I'm gonna do this side of my face with, it's looking a little bit light, but I kind of, would rather it's too light than too dark, and I can darken it up with a little bronzer just to kind of give some darker contrast where it's needed. Now it does apply really, really nicely with a beauty blender. So if that's all you have, I think you can get a really nice application with just that. A couple of things I will say before you powder up so it doesn't kind of sink in the wrinkles and make them worse, kind of lift and buff those out before you powder up so that it doesn't kind of, like I said, really kind of highlight the wrinkles. The other side, I'm gonna go in with their brush. Now, I tend to find it works better in circles than doing that. I feel like when I do long lines, it just ends up kind of creating those streaks, but play around, see what works best for you. It does dry down very, very quickly. So where I'd done the other side and let this kind of sit for a little bit, it had already started drying down. And I'm gonna, gonna go in with a concealer, obviously do my full makeup afterwards, but I just wanna show you kind of the full coverage effect you can get. So if you wanted to do a very, very quick makeup routine, pack less when you're traveling or in the mornings, you can get away without a concealer. This is going to be, like I said today, I didn't do anything. If you're really looking for that minimalistic routine in the morning or for traveling or packing, this is really good for missing out kind of your serum, moisturizer, SPF, foundation and concealer, this is going to do kind of a one and done. Can you see how matte and full coverage that is? And I don't see much of an application difference between the beauty blender on this side and the foundation brush on this side. I'll get quite close. The one thing I will say with this is, I would not use this every day in Vegas because it's a very dry climate. I have combination skin. It's going to be almost too matte for me. If you love a matte look, perfect. But I think on more mature skin, it can be slightly less flattering because I feel like it does start to really kind of, I don't know, highlight rather than mask the imperfections, the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, 
but the coverage is amazing. It does give really, really full coverage. If I come in, oh my God, I'm so close to you guys. When you look around the nose, it really has, and even on the forehead, it really helps to minimize the look of pores as well, which I really like about it. And wear-wise, it is very, very long-lasting, not just a 16-hour kind of like keeping it matte, but it does last really, really well with both the color. It doesn't fade out. It doesn't tend to crease too much either. So a brilliant long wear foundation. And then that matte stayed very, very matte for me. It stayed through going out for pre-dinner cocktails, going for dinner, and then post-dinner cocktails kind of sat on our balcony. It didn't go shiny. I might have got a slight kind of shine around this area. That was it. It was brilliant for not creating kind of that really shiny end of the night look that you can sometimes get and keeping that really full coverage look. It also shot really well on camera, so you're not getting any shine, any flashback with it. The serum in here isn't the anti-aging serum, it's a skin balancing serum, which is why I said it's better for those oily skin types. And with saying that with that serum, it's really designed to be skincare. It's really supposed to improve the look of bare skin with and without makeup. It's not just a makeup product. And I'm really liking products now. I'm really more conscientious of looking for products that do that. And the matte formula comes in 30 shades, so it might be one of those that's better to go into somewhere like Ultra or Sephora and actually try on, because otherwise it's going to get overwhelming. You're ordering, it's kind of hit and miss. They do have a shade finder online, but still, if you can actually try this on, I think you're going to do a lot better with it. I have the medium core and medium tan. Obviously, that's way too dark for me when I'm not tanned, but I use this in the summer in humid, hot places, so these colors are the ones that are perfect for me. So who it's for? Those with oily skins, combination skins, or if you live in a hot, humid climate. Those it's not so great for. If you have more mature skin or dry skin or don't want that full coverage, try another one. And the last one I'm going to review is the IT Cosmetics Nude Glow CC Plus Cream. The reason I don't have that one is because I returned it because that was the only one that really didn't work for me. These both work for me for different climates, different kind of times of the year. But the glow, I had such high hopes for. When I applied it, the first application I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. It's giving me a really nice glow. It's going on lightweight. It feels hydrating and it was quite easy to blend. But <laughs> within 30 minutes, I know it's hot here, within 30 minutes, I literally looked like an oil slick and I kept having to powder up. It wasn't giving me full enough coverage. I know it's not full coverage, but after using these, I would have wanted more full coverage and I thought it was going to be more buildable than it was. So if you have dry skin or if you have young skin or really like that dolphin effect, I think you will love that one. It is a really beautiful product. It's just not for those of us either in humid climates or who have naturally kind of oily or combination skin because it, it just doesn't look pretty. But like all of the others, it does have those skincare products. It does have the this, this serum in with the hyaluronic acid. It has the antioxidant green tea extract and it has your brightening niacinamide. So if you're looking for a glowy, color correcting, a lightweight, 24 hour hydrating foundation, give that one a go if you have drier skin. Otherwise, try one of the others. So in conclusion, if you have a drier skin and want more light coverage, go for the CC Plus Nude Glow. If you have dry skin and want more full coverage, go for their radiant finish. If you have combination skin, go for the natural finish or even the matte finish if you're in kind of a more humid climate. If you have oily skin, either go for the matte finish or possibly even the natural finish if you want more hydration and are going to powder afterwards. So I hope that helps you find the right IT Cosmetics CC Plus cream for you. If it didn't, if you still have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm going to link all of the products in the description. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.